Hi, it's Naomi back with another vlog for you. This time I'm going to be talking about The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. This is the author's debut novel. It's a historical fiction uh, set in the early 19th century. The novel follows uh, Franny Langton, who was born into slavery in Jamaica. Um, she's then gifted to a family in London and uh, she's later accused of murdering that family. Um, so the novel opens at the Old Bailey where Franny is being uh, detained. She protests her innocence and uh, starts talking about her life story. Um, Franny is actually taught to read by her mistress in Jamaica, who she has quite a turbulent relationship with. And this unlocks a whole new world for her, um, gives her somewhere to, to retreat to um, from the difficulties of her everyday life. Um, reading and writing and self-expression are really big themes in this novel. Um, as a slave, it's acted as if Franny is uh, lucky to have been taught to read, um, but at the same time she experiences a lot of negativity um, about her abilities to read and write. Um, she's often seen as uppity or above her station, acting above her station um, by other characters. And I think it just shows how much that if the ability to read and write is kept from someone, it can be used as um, an agent of control. Um, and at the same time, uh, the mistress that she encounters in London, she is allowed to write by her husband, but she does, he does not allow her to publish. So she feels like her um, voice is stifled somewhat as well. And I think that's something that draws the two characters together and sort of um, perhaps helps them fall in love. They're, um, they're being bound by social convention and all these rules that um, are incredibly unfair from a modern day perspective. The awful abuses at the plantation in Jamaica are heartbreaking to read about. Um, the racism, the physical abuse are, are just awful. Um, the author does an excellent job of letting us know um, about the horrors of slavery whilst at the same time um, giving a voice to a character who wouldn't have had one at that time in history. Um, the author actually talks a little about uh, choosing to write an enslaved character on um, the Shelfie video, which is on this channel. Um, so I'd suggest um, checking that out to hear from her. Um, the author, she said also she wanted to write a gothic novel, but she didn't want to use a traditional uh, main character. She, she didn't understand why a Jamaican former slave could not be the star of her own uh, gothic novel and I quite agree with her and I think it's caused her to write something that's quite unique um, and gives such a strong voice to um, a character that's been marginalised in history. Collins I think has been inspired by um, classic novels and the gothic so um, we see the Bildungsroman structure of Jane Eyre um, there are so many nods to Mole Flanders in this novel. The doomed sort of gothic romance of uh, Wuthering Heights is, uh, is, is maybe in there too. And then from modern authors, there's maybe a pinch of Sarah Waters about the romance, um, maybe um, uh, the exploration into identity that we saw in Wide Sagasso Sea. Um, and all these books, um, all these inspirations are lovingly respected without making this novel become derivative at all. It's, this is not a retread, this is quite new ground and the author's done an amazing job of laying tribute whilst at the same time um, creating her own path. The main character, Franny, is such a nuanced character with so much to say. Um, the author's way with words just completely endears you to her, her plight to escape the death sentence is is so engaging. Um, you're never sometimes quite sure whether you're reading a who done it or a why they done it, um, which reminded me of his bloody project a little bit. Um, but this is part crime novel, it's it's part gothic romance. You get so, so much from this novel. Um, I wanted to find out the answers, find out what happened, um, but I could at the same time I couldn't bear to rush to the end because I really loved uh, the way the author writes. Um, it's just so well written and executed, this book. This book um, is one for, for crime fans, for fans of historical fiction um, and fans of the gothic. There's so many different people it's going to appeal to and um, Honestly, I think it's also got great book club potential as well. Um, honestly, I'm looking forward to um, 
finding someone else who has actually read this because I'd love to talk with them about it. So um, if you have read the novel, have any comments, um, leave them down below um, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, it totally breaks new ground. It's her first novel, but I'm so keen to see what she does next. It's definitely this author's career is one I'm going to follow. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic book. Do pick it up. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me today. Um, if you want to hear more from me, more from the other vloggers, or more from Waterstones in general, then please do subscribe to our channel, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.